What's up, guys? Zeta Prime here, and I am going to be doing another video review. This time, we are taking a look at a figure that I've had for a little while. Um, this is the uh, APC Toys Bossy Flame otherwise known as Collector's Club Rampage. Now, this figure is so big that I actually have him far back on my review station. Um, so the reach is quite far. Um, and, uh, yeah, so um, here is Bossy Flame. And as you can see, he's uh, a very... Uh, detailed and upscaled version of Rampage. Now, um, this guy's huge. Um, for example, here's animated bulkhead. Yeah. This guy's huge. This is an animated Voyager. And this guy is the size of a TF Prime Voyager. As you can see, they are not the same size. This guy is way, way bigger. Anyway, off to the side with you. All right. Um, not a lot to sneeze at. I mean, he's a really cool figure. And uh, I'm happy I picked him up. This figure, I do exceed caution. If, for those of you who have this figure or the Dark Master Megatron, know what I'm talking about. This guy has a lot of sharp points all over him. A lot of sharp, spiky, dude, spiky dudes. I extreme, I would exceed extreme caution with playing with this as a child. Now, posability wise, he's pretty much got all the posability you want in a figure. Um, you know, the feet can move forward, back. He does have ankle tilt, but it's very, very stiff. And the leg, as you just saw, splits apart. Uh, the knee can bend a little past 90 on the knee, or roughly 90 on the knee. Uh, the hips are on a universal joint. Uh, rotation just above the knee. Hips are on a universal joint, so they can go in and out, forward and back. Uh, though, be on very stiff joints. The arms, shoulders are on a ball joint and also on a series of hinges. Actually, it's not even a ball joint. It's just a series of hinges and it's just a hinge and a swivel. It's not even a ball joint. Um, and everything on this figure is very stiff because this guy, very hollow. Very, very hollow plastic. Anyway, elbows can bend 90 um, wrists can swivel, although very tight. Uh, biceps swivel just just above the elbow. And then you kind of have a double-jointed elbow, if you count the transformation joint. And then the head is, I believe, on a ball joint, but you can't really move it that well, especially with how sharp everything is. And my god, is that face detailed. I mean, just look at that face. That is just menacing right there. Best, by far the best Rampage face I've seen in a while. Anyway, there is Bossy Flame. That's pretty much it for the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation. Transform, it's a lot similar to the deluxe. Uh, first, which... So, the first figure of this mold was the Deluxe 
first edition Megatron that came in a two pack with the first edition Deluxe Optimus from Transformers Prime. Now, that figure was upgraded into Dark Master. Actually, no, it was upgraded into Collector's Club Rampage, then upgraded into Dark Master, then upgraded into Bossy Flame. So, this is the fourth rendition of this figure. Fourth rendition. Oh, and uh, before we go into transformation, I custom painted the uh, fusion cannon. Although it's fading off. Anyway, so to start off, you want to remove the fusion cannon. And this is a handheld weapon, just like the deluxe. Um, no, it doesn't have the LED function, unlike Dark Master, who had the LED function. This does not. Um, there's no LED or anything. Um, although, strangely enough, there's still a uh, slot for the switch right there. Um, anyway, so sending that off to the side. Uh, to start things off... Oh boy. What we're going to do is we're going to come back here, lift up and flatten him. Basically, you want to stretch him out like this. Um, come in here and untab and open. So you kind of have to lift because they tab in right there into those two slots on the chest. You open these up, bring these down. And they will click into place, just like on the original toy. And then, on, unlike the original toy, this piece actually rotates. Um, and this is a new molded piece from uh, Dark Master. This is a specific molded piece to this specific figure. As you can see, it's uh, detailed differently. The reason this was specifically molded for this figure is because of the new head. And no, the head does not have an LED function either. Anyway... So, to do this, you want to bring the shoulders down and very tight. Um, bring the shoulders down. You want to come in here and you want to bring these purple sections out, just like on the original toy, um, which I do not have any more because like I said in my original video I gave that figure away and then once you do that you can free this up rotate this piece around which is easier said than done there we go and then push it forward over the head like that and once you do that, you want to, there are two little hooks on the side here and on this side. And you want to make sure those two little hooks clip into place. They will come unclipped. And if they do, just clip them back into place. Next, I'm going to bring the camera down just a little bit. Next, you want to take his arms, rotate the arms in together and then there's a tab right here and a slot right in there just like on the original figure tab the arms together and then for this figure what you have to do is you actually have to bring the hands in like this because they will loop around these little hooks right here so uh once you do that you want to oh and uh, i forgot to mention these little spikes Right here, push them up. I forgot to mention that. Anyway, so you want to very tightly extend the shoulders down as far as they will go on these two hinges right here. And then bend the arms in. And uh, technically you don't have to rotate the hands. I just choose to rotate them because it locks everything into place and then bring them up on a secondary hinge so they shoot in like that and then that forms the rear thrusters right there anyway so once you have all that done um you pretty much are at the halfway mark 
and at the home stretch. So bring this around, and wow, this guy is big. Bring up the heels, and then you want to take the legs, rotate them outward, and bring them out like this. And as you can see, this comes undone a lot. Um, then what you want to do is untab, bring this back, like so. And then you want to come in here, bring this up, and it might help to bring these out. Bring this up, and it's on a double hinge right there. Collapse that forward. Then bring these back forward and around like this. And then once you do that, you want to come back here. Oh, and uh, one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, just like Dark Master, he also comes with the same... Uh, blade the Dark Master comes with. The tip right here isn't sharp, but these tips, these four tips are sharp. So be careful of that. Anyway, back to the transformation. So, um, basically there, you have this tab in here and you have this tab right here. So you want to come in here and line that up first. And then come up here and line this up. And do the same thing on this side. Uh, tab that in and then tab that in. And then once you have the legs locked into place like that, you can take the feet, bring the toes in and you're supposed to bring these heels out like this. I choose not to. I choose to leave them collapsed in like this. Because I find it gives it more of a cleaner look. So like that. And then you want to come in here. You could also do this before you tab the legs in. But I prefer to have the legs tabbed in first. You come in here. Bring this panel up and out. And then there's a hook right here. And there's a slot right here where my thumb is. You want to make sure that this hook goes into that slot. Which is not an easy process to do. And then come to the other side. Rinse and repeat. Oh, this leg came untabbed. Yeah, that's the thing. You want to make sure these legs stay tap these wings stay tabbed in. Other you want to make sure that these pieces stay tabbed in to the legs, otherwise these wings are not going to peg into place. And lastly, you come to the underside of the wings, fold out these purple spikes which were orange on the original figure and once you're done once you've done all that you take the cannon there's a slot right here and a tab right here and you basically uh want to do the want to peg that on now on my figure this was originally loose i actually had to tighten it with glue although it doesn't seem to work that well um and there you have bossy flame in his space jet mode and i have to say i'm not a huge fan of this mode it's basically just a ripoff of megatron from transformers prime but i have to say i love the figure and it is a great figure to have in your collection if you can get your hands on this it is not a bad figure i recommend it and yeah so guys that has been my video review for the 
uh, APC Toys 03 Bossy Flame, and this is Zeta Prime signing out.